Bangalore generates approximately 5 to 7,000 metric tons of waste per day. 60% of the waste generated is wet waste. And when it decays, it produces methane, which is a greenhouse gas which has the global warming potential of 28 times more than that of carbon dioxide. We are here at Kasarasa Waste Management Center at the heart of Bangalore's Kormangla, one of the most happening places in this city. And there is a bio CNG facility by Carbon Masters. Some years ago, we started segregating and spreading the importance of segregation with all our residents. And after we did a good, uh, good awareness programs and drives, we realized we are getting a lot of good segregated wet waste. Uh, the thought of sending it far away to some other neighborhood was somehow not feeling right because I do believe that Namma Kasa, Namma Jawabdari. Biogas seemed like the best option, which is anaerobic. The residents, a few of us, went uh, doing some research on which is the best biogas vendor we could find. And we found that there was Carbon Masters, uh, who was a young, dynamic entrepreneur and who had just started a plant in ISKCON. We did the initial pilot where uh, we were able to show them the organic waste instead of being sent to landfills can be converted into bio CNG and bio CNG can be used for cooking by nearby restaurants. Very soon we realized that we are ready to expand and we are ready to make sure that we can give more segregated waste and around the same time Sahas approached us uh, saying that they have a funder who is very keen on working on the environment and also keen on you know reducing carbon emissions so that, that was a perfect fit for us and that company was CGI. The Kormangla Resident Association is extremely grateful to them for having, uh, you know, deciding to invest in this. So CGI aims to be a responsible corporate citizen in the communities where they work from. And for us, one of the major areas is mitigating climate change. As all of you are aware, waste is a pressing issue in all urban cities today. Sagas has been associated with the uh, development of biogas facility in Kormangla since 2019. The processing capacity has been you know, increased from 4 to 6 and then to 8.5 ton per day in phases. Out of this, 2.5 ton per day capacity has been developed with the CSR support from CGI. Waste from about 10,000 households come to this facility. 151 ward in the West Baroteli, yellow auto total 15 autos, so Baroteli, 15 autos, so yellow segregated muddy, BBMP or segregated muddy, and I'm a waste cotta. A waste cotta is in the process muddy, now other shedding muddy, small, small pieces of cut muddy, anaerobic digestion get cuts cotta, anaerobic digestion only, I'm a gas production agote, otherly methane, CH4, mate, H2S, and remaining unwanted gases all irute. So our gas production agi do now matte elige naamge balloon ide. A balloon al bandu store agote. A balloon al store ad mele na wadhen na purify marti de. Adre adu raw gas irte adre la unwanted gases thella tumba jas pe rote. Unwanted gases andre H2SO matte CO2 thella remove marti. Only CH4 matra na wo purify ad mele store marti de. Adu store marti store ad mele adu na compress marti de. Adu na hotel ke na wili kanam commercial contract ide hotel ke empire ke. So empire ke empire ke supply marti de cooking gas kara. So na daily na at present ika na daily 300 cubic meter raw gas production agote. So na wadu na total 170 180 orgu nu na hotel ke cooking gas kara supply marta idir hotel. With the contribution from CGI, we were able to process around 1,400 metric tons of municipal solid waste so far in this facility. In the current year, uh, starting April uh, 2023 until December, process approximately 600 metric tons of solid waste. Saha Santa on the NGO. We support the support of the Bandro. We have a two years in the Kilsa Marta. We have a Saha Samstay team. We have a ton of wet waste. Nama Kasara Sakendra, poor Mangal Takanta, Stalaka Kalasaide, Ali Biogas Kuda on the plant is there. Mata Gasu with the Lakuda Tayar Sadike is some Sakuda Sahaya Matai. So, the most important aspect is that these projects, when the CSR funding takes care of the capital, 
that's required to set up these projects. The bio CNG that's being produced out of the plant can uh, take care of its operational cost, can be competitive versus LPG. From the facility, you know, supplied around 12,000 kgs of uh, LPG to the restaurant. It's equivalent to 630 you know, uh, commercial LPG cylinders. So in terms of long-term impact, the, this facility is uh, you know, helping to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions in two ways. One, it is diverting the municipal solid waste away from the landfill. And number two, it's replacing the fossil fuel, that's LPG, with biogas. And we're really proud to have associated with Sahas for the bio CNG plant at Koramangala, seeing the impact that is making on the communities. And we are also really proud to have won the Asocham award for the same. So uh, this is a perfect model where uh, corporate social responsibility coming together with NGOs, working with NGOs, as well as uh, when it's combined with RWS, uh, where they start source segregation, um, partnering with entrepreneurs like us, along with the support of the local MAs. If all these stakeholders get involved, we can solve the problem uh, that India has about disposing 62 million tons of uh, waste that is being produced, where it can be processed into useful climate-friendly products, uh, uh, showing, showcasing a, a circular economy model. Together, we can mitigate climate change and make Swaj Bharat a reality.